I think the real value of Internet of Things is all about uh, deriving insights and uh, both in real time as well as in batches. And if you look at uh, the data in an IoT context, it can be broadly classified into four types. And based on the data type, you define algorithms. For instance, it can be a structured data where you're looking at a sequence of uh, bytes or from the sensors. It can be unstructured data. Uh, for instance, if you're doing image analysis, it can be a combination of structured as well as unstructured data. For instance, if you're doing uh, augmentation, or it can be behavioral data where the entire uh, cognitive aspects of the device kicks in. And what you do out, do out here is based on uh, the data, you de define algorithms. So you could use, for instance, if you are, uh, uh, if you want to analyze a sequence of bytes to detect anomaly, you could use various supervised and unsupervised uh, machine learning algorithms. If you like to do image analysis, you could use techniques like deep learning. And I'll, I'll talk about deep learning during the course of this presentation. And once you have the data analyzed, the next layer is uh, the cognitive insights. So think of uh, the cognitive platform as uh, providing a natural and intuitive way for uh, devices to connect uh, uh, to humans in a more natural way. So you could look at technologies like gestures, uh, you could talk to device. So in, in, a, in a connected world, you would have a stronger connect between uh, man and machine. And the whole cognitive aspect comes out here where uh, right from gestures to facial recognitions to uh, natural language processing, uh, you could have all the capabilities uh, built onto devices and devices basically learns from.